So we've been asked to produce a wiki for your assignment and are wondering where to start. You've come to the right place. So what is a wiki? A wiki is a means to collaborating together as a group. Wikipedia being the most well-known example of a group collaborative wiki. The wiki allows users to create new pages and link these pages together with no web design knowledge necessary. Accessing your wiki. Your lecturer will have made the wiki available to your group in one of two ways. They may have added the wiki to an area within the module. So here the wiki has been added to the teacher materials folder. They may have chosen this method because they wanted to add a template for your wiki to be based on. In this example, the lecturer has provided a simple three-page structure to the wiki. The second way is that they may have just provided the wiki tool for your group, which is accessible through the group space. When you have been added to a group, the group will be listed in the My Groups panel on the left. From here, you can view other group members by clicking on the group home page and if a wiki has been added here it will be a blank wiki. Editing your wiki if your wiki is not based on a template it will be empty. To get started Add a new page. Give your page a name and click continue. This opens the blank page. At the top of the page you will see the text editor. It includes most of the features that you use in other text editors like Microsoft Word. If I add some text here, I can then use the text editor to format the text. As you can see, I've added some text to the text editor. This text currently has no formatting on it, so like in Microsoft Word, we can apply some certain formatting to the text. So for example, I might either decide to change the font size or I could actually change this to a heading. Um, I can also provide links. So in the text here, I've mentioned Wikipedia. I might decide to provide a link to the Wikipedia website. So in order to provide the link to the Wikipedia website, I can actually just highlight the text and then I can click link to a page and this window opens up and I have various different options here um, I can link to an external website which there's the Wikipedia link um, I can also link to an anchor which we'll, we'll have a look at that in a moment um, and I can also link to pages that I've already created which again we'll have a look at that once we've created some more pages. So there's my, my link there. Um, some of the other features is we can put bulleted lists in if we wish. You could also add an image so you might want to add an image of um, the Wikipedia logo for example and provide that as a link. So if I wanted to add an image in here of the Wikipedia logo which I might point out that the Wikipedia logo um, which I'm displaying now is actually part of the Wikimedia Commons license um, which means it's free. It's a freely licensed media repository so we are allowed to use this image 
Um, so if I want to add that image, I take the URL for that image and I put the URL in here. But just to point out, in the um, insert image area, you can actually browse through your files um, and you can actually just look through your files and upload one of your own images if you want to. So, But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to paste in the URL and then you'll see it's actually displayed the image down here and it is quite big so I might decide to um, reduce the size of that. So at the moment it's sitting at 1058 by 1296. If we make sure you we leave constrained proportions ticked and we can reduce that size, the dimensions, so maybe um, 300 by 367. Um, if you want to add some space around the image, you can do so. And you can see there's a little preview here of, of how the image will, will look. So I might decide to add 5 pixels of vertical space and 5 pixels of horizontal space. I can also set the alignment. So if I set it to left, you can see what happens is any text moves up around the image. Um, and it would be the same for right as well. So that's um, mainly what you can do with, with the image. If I click insert, you'll see there's my um, Wikipedia image in there. If after resizing the image you discover it's too big, like this one's still pretty large, um, you can actually just click on the image and using these handles, whilst pressing shift on the keyboard, you can actually just reduce the image size. Another thing you can do with your image, you can turn your image into a link as well. So I'm going to provide a link through to the Wikipedia logo page where it gives information on this logo. So I would just, with this highlighted, so you see with these handles, it means it's highlighted. Um, I click on link to a page. And um, the same window that we saw before opens up. I select that I want to click to an external website. And this time I'm going to decide to open this in a new window and insert. So that now becomes a link. So if if, our, if we're happy with our page, you click save and exit. And that's what that looks like so far. And you'll see that's now a link. So I can click on that and it opens up the Wikipedia logos page. So next let's have a look at adding um, some more pages to our wiki. If I click on add a new page and give it a title and click continue. So I'm going to add some content to this. So I've added some content to this page, but I actually want to add some images and I want to lay out the page um, a little bit more attractively. So there's various different things that I could do, but what you might want to do with something like this, where you've got images next to text and you have very specific layout needs, is you might decide to put a table in. Um, so if I click on the table icon, you'll see I have some various different options in here. Um, I can create columns, I can create rows, the same as if you were using any other text editor. But I can also say that I don't want the table to have a border, so I'm actually just using it as, a, as somewhere to store various different things and to lay out things on the screen. So what I might decide to do to make it more attractive is put some um, cell padding in. And this just basically gives a little bit of space um, between one cell um, and the next cell. So we'll put in some cell padding of three 
and just so that you know that these options are here you can actually put colors in as well so you might decide you want maybe like a background square header or something um, on a cell and you can just use this to add colors um, if you want to but I'm going to leave that blank at the moment so I've selected that um, it should have two columns um, and two rows. So basically I'm going to have four cells present. So let's have a look and see what happens next. So first of all you'll see that there's no, I've not put any fixed width on this. Um, now I could if I wanted to, if I go back into this um, you'll see here I can actually choose a fixed width so I could say I want it to be 500 so that then widens each of the, the cells. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this text and I'm going to move it to here by just highlighting it and dragging it and then I'm going to do the same with the second lot of text and then just highlight it and drag it. So you can see how that has laid out those two blocks of text. So this particular text is referring to um, the way that the wiki has been put into the module and I actually have an image that goes with this text. So I click in the cell, I go to add image, I browse my computer and I find the image I want to add and then click upload so it's pretty large at the moment and um, let's make this a little bit smaller so there you can see um, it's just a simple way of laying out um, some information on the screen um, you don't have to do it this way there's lots of different ways and it's really just worth playing about with the options available um, but this is certainly a way that you might want to choose and incidentally you can um, get back in and edit this if you if you want to you can actually if you want to make a change that affects a specific cell if you click in the cell and then right click and then go to cell and then table cell properties this window opens up and what you can do is because you'll notice that mine is it's sitting in the middle of the cell I don't really want that I want it to sit at the top of the cell and um, so I can change the alignment and you'll see now that just moves up to the top of the cell so I might then decide to make the one bigger and then I could do the same for the second cell so I could put in a two and make that a bit bigger. So just to show you, there's another. There are other ways that you can lay out um, information on the screen. So I've just created a new page um, called Editing Your Wiki, and it's really just a contents page showing that there are many different ways of editing and formatting your wiki um, and it's listed some um, areas that I want to provide further information on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can start to build up um, your pages in your wiki and how you can then link to all those different pages. So the first one here is adding new pages. So I'm going to type in adding new pages and then it sits within underneath this editing your wiki page. So rather than just clicking continue and having it under wiki, I'm going to highlight editing your wiki and then click continue and then we'll just I'll put text in there later but now can you see that that's indented so now the adding new pages um, page is under the editing your wiki page so I've now gone and added 
all the different pages and um, you can see there's the add in new pages formatting text and adding tables and formatting cells pages I've also added the add in links pages but you can see I've put this in the wrong place if you find you um, have put it in the wrong place you can actually change this after you've added it in if you click on edit and you'll see the add in links one here I can actually just click on this and hold the mouse button down and drag it to where I want it to go so now you can see it's in the right place. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to link to these pages. So if I go back to the editing your wiki page, I can click edit. I can highlight the text that I want to link and then choose where I want to link. And you'll see all the existing pages are down here. So I can then just link back to that so that now links into the adding new pages page so now I've added some content to this page I'm um, adding tables and formatting cells and because the content is fairly long what you might decide to do is add what's known as a page anchor which basically means that you're providing a link to a certain area within that page so as you can see at the top here I've put um, two two headers adding tables and formatting cells and they correspond with these um, sections of the page so first of all what I'd have to do is just say that these are the anchors so I'm going to go to edit page and I'm going to select the adding tables link and you see the little, this little um, anchor icon I'm going to click on that and this window opens up to say insert or edit anchor I'm going to give the anchor a name so adding tables and you'll see it puts this little um, anchor symbol next to it so that you know that you've put an anchor in there. And then I'm going to scroll down to the formatting cells and I'm going to do the same again. And again, let's put the little anchor icon. So now that I've got the anchors available, I can actually just go ahead and create links in here. So with adding tables, you see now the link to anchor is populated it with anchors that I have available so adding tables is the first one so I just click insert and it puts a link in and then I can do the same for formatting cells um, and I just select the anchor that I want it to link to so I click insert and that's the two links now available so the first one isn't going to make a lot of difference it just moves the page up but the second one if I click on that you'll see it takes me right down and shows me the formatting cells part of this page